<laughs> because you, you've never had heterosexual sex, have you? Well, I've done a few things, but I've never actually done full penetration. Are we allowed to talk about that? On, I just signed a form yeah. saying I wouldn't, I wouldn't be rude. No, no, no. no. As, <laughs> as you know, television is an act of full penetration, so it's quite all right. <laughs> From where you're sitting. Yeah. <laughs> From where everyone's sitting. No, uh, would you like to try heterosexual sex? It's hard to say, but... <laughs> Not really. I like men. <laughs> I like Ian Roberts. Ian Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure all the ladies in the audience will understand what I say when I say I like men. Yeah. yeah. You can't beat them. Well, you can. You can. Yeah, you, can. Can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like... I, I haven't really ever thought about doing it as a full-time, you know, yeah. job. Oh, well, you don't have to. I just wondered I don't if think it... it's the art form that it's made out to be, really. You know? Really? No. I mean, it's very hard. Is it? <laughs> I better be careful what I say here. <laughs> It's a lot easier than Rubik's Cubes, definitely. Sometimes not. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to talk about my life, hell. <laughs> now, well, actually, the new album, Cheapness and Beauty, which is yeah. also due out next month, I believe. Yeah. What's more important for a number one hit? Are we talk uh, style or the song? What's important for a number one hit? Because you've always been the style hound. Who knows? I think the two things go together. I mean, all the people that I've always loved through history, people like Elvis Presley, Bowie, you know, Little Richard, Jimi Hendrix, they've always had more than their music. There was yeah. much more to them than just the guitar solo. It was, they had a style. Bay City Rollers, another example. Oh, not, not quite. <laughs> not quite. But, you know, I mean, I'm talking about people with... <laughs> I'm talking about substance sure, there, no, you know? no, no, you have Real your music substance. Real substance. Real substance. So, I mean, I think that the two things are important. I mean, I think that in the past, you know, perhaps in a way my, my look overshadowed what I did musically. But no. I don't, I don't regret that. <laughs> You know, I don't regret that because I think it's all part of, of kind of culture. It's all part of art, yeah. you know. That you, you know, art should be about challenging people, threatening people if you have to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Moss was, would certainly agree with that, wouldn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. He so, loved it, though. Are you, um... <laughs> Ian Roberts is a very big man. Be careful. Are you, um... Are you glad to be back in the limelight again because it hurt you for a while? Um... I think I've grown up a lot, you know, and I think that, um, you know, I don't blame anybody else for what happened to me, you know. I mean, I got into this business when I was very young mm. and I was kind of very neurotic. And, you know, it was like a roller coaster. I mean, when you're successful at kind of 21, that kind of success, yeah. you know, you do lose your head. And I think this business encourages all the worst things about your personality. If you're kind of selfish and neurotic to start with, it kind of <laughs> emphasizes all those things. And for a while, I think I did leave the ground and hover. Yeah. And, uh, you know, after falling down a big black hole, you tend to kind of put things in, put into perspective. Yeah. Well, you're back and you are a truly charming person, a real pleasure oh, to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I got to see where your feet go. Okay, oh, good one, good one. I like this one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh.